May 5th, 2024. The Kia Forum, Inglewood, California. Whole lot of patriots. Whole lot of celebrities. And a whole lot of shit we shouldn't have said. This, this is the roast of Tom, Tom Brady. Brady. Welcome to Games with Names, and we have a very special guest today. And we're going to do a very different type episode today. Sure are. We have the one and only Drew Bledsoe, one of the founding blocks of the Patriots' success to help us go on and do what we did. And we are here, and we're going to discuss... The roast of Tom Brady. Let's go. Hot off the press. Let's go. Let's do it. We're just gonna shoot the shit. It'll be fun. Yeah. And what are we? What are we drinking here? So Drew? we got a little uh, 2021 double back Cabernet to uh, liven up the conversation. Awesome. Uh, that's our most recent vintage, and it's uh, yeah. So I think it's our highest scored wine yet. Now, that, now, Washington wine. Washington wine, Walla Walla. Yeah, my hometown. Yeah, it's called Double Back because I grew up and grew up in Walla Walla. Went off and played ball and then Double Back and came back home. Yeah, um, and went back there mostly because they're my favorite wines in the world. So, yeah, pretty cool in your little hometown. Turning out some killer wine. Yeah, I mean, <clears throat> I used to get the emails from you all the time. Yeah, well, buy some more fucking wine. I, know, <laughs> I, 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 was, <laughs> I was sitting there. Uh, your lady hit me up. I was on a subscription fee for a while. Oh what, yeah, wasn't I? Yeah, I think you were on side. Yeah, I don't, I don't I'm, know. I'm, I'm, I'm fucking with you. Yeah, uh, no. but the, the only the only problem for you, Jules, is that when we we still do magnums, yeah, and the the big bottles are they're all I, I don't use magnums. <laughs> 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 I'm joking. The, uh, uh, dude, dude, I can take that all the way into the ditch, but we're you know, but uh, we're not roasting. We're not. We're, 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 we're not. We're not. We're not. We're not. I know. Dude, my wife finally told me. She goes, look. You're not roasting me. You're, I mean, your brain goes to making fun of everything right now. Can you settle the fuck down? Wait, it happened to you too, Drew? Huh? Around here, we just been ripping on each other. Oh, dude. I mean, we kind of always do, right? You know, with the with the boys. Same. I mean, that's kind of how we. But the punchline oh, now. Oh, now yeah, we're today, like recently. Like a, but yeah, it, and, and my yeah, so my wife is like, like, no, this is no, this is not what we do at home. <laughs> you know, you can go do that with your buddies, but you don't get to roast me because you know your chicken was dry. Yeah. You know, what are you? Um, so we had to uh, we had to button that up a little bit. Oh no! But what I was starting to say, that, like you, you, you kind of get screwed because, like all my buddies that buy wine that played with all the way back to high school and all that, they get their jersey number. Unfortunately, dude, there's only one eleven uh, in the lineup every year. So um, that one, I'm keeping that one. It's all good, man. No, no. <laughs> I, I'm so happy. I was so I remember you let you came in like one of my rookie years, and you're mm. like, you're wearing the number well, dude. Or something like that. I remember. I, I remember. You know, because first of all, I mean, I'll be honest. I was a little fucking pissed they gave you my number. But, <laughs> but, but uh, he was uh, pissed they gave it to. They gave it to Taekwon Thornton. They just, I know, they I know, just right? recycling I know, that thing. I know, now. I mean, bullshit, what the but, fuck are we doing? No, but I remember. Yeah, we were we were out there, and and you know, obviously, you you were kind of breaking in, and you were already balling out and returning kicks and and, and, and doing stuff, and and I was like, hey man, proud to see you in the number. Uh, the only thing you have to do, the only favor you have to do for me is just ball out, and of course you did. My so, God! So <laughs> Cheers respect. to that! Fucking res wow. fucking respect. Thank you. I remember that. People don't realize it's intimidating because Drew. Bl wait up. Drew is Drew's a legend in New England, like a fucking legend. Him right. He's in all everywhere in the building. Not just New England. I mean, when I say he's a founding father of the success, or the, like one of the foundations of the success, it's fucking true. And I remember seeing him for the first time, and I never met him. What you don't know about Drew, Drew's a fucking large human. You shake his hand, his hand wraps around my fucking hand. Mm -hmm. He shakes it hard. And he, he looks, he's looking at me and he goes, you're doing, the, you're doing the number well. And like, it took pressure off me, man. I felt yeah. like, because yeah. you get intimidated when you see Drew Bledsoe in the locker room, yeah. a fucking like no, first, man. second year player. What year yeah. was that? Second year? 2000. I mean, it could have been 2009 in the playoffs, man. What was your, uh, what, you were, what, what year were you drafted? 09. 09, yeah. Yeah, so it's yeah. I, it, it was either it might have been, might have been second year because you you already you already really kind of making a name for yourself at that point. Yeah. And as a matter of fact, and so truth be told, right? All right, so you got this 
little fucking white guy that used to play quarterback, <laughs> you know, playing receiver. Well, cool. He's going to wear number 11 for a year, and then they fucking, then it's going to go back, yeah. right? <laughs> and instead, man, you go on and have this amazing fucking career. And so went from being kind of pissed that they gave the number away to actually pretty fucking proud to watch the way that you represented the whole time. And let's not forget that you can fucking spin it too. So, I mean, you know, I mean, like, you know, I mean, it's like, you know, look, hey, if you're going to wear the, if you're going to wear the, the, the number 11, I, I, I just respect the fact that in addition to everything else, you can actually fucking throw. Ah, uh, no, Drew, that's why I played receiver in the National Football League. No, you played receiver because you're too short. <laughs> <laughs> that too. But if I can hit that 20 yard out, like you guys, yeah. I still could have done it. Hey, that arm, shit. Yeah. That arm yeah. made it into Bill's jokes last night. I know. What's that? Bill, Bill made some jokes. Oh yeah, no, he was, yeah, he was. Yeah, he was making fun of Tom. The, the big throws. <laughs> the, the big throws. Of Tom. Made. No, actually, actually, Julian made those shows. <laughs> would you? Would you? Uh, would you? Would you think of uh, of, uh, of of Bill's bit? I thought he did all right. Yeah. I yeah. thought when they rolled out that TV thing mm -hmm. with uh, Segura and and Kreischer. Mm -hmm. I thought that was going to be Bill putting up, like, plays or something. Bill, too? Right. Oh. I thought that would have been fucking hilarious. Yeah. If he was just up there roasting us, like, Look. Cowboy clicker. And uh, it would be such a Bill way of fucking making fun of some. It, Look, it would, you didn't even aim yeah. light. You didn't even double team that guy. It wasn't hip to hip. Like, right. <laughs> it would have it actually would have been pretty good. Yeah. You know, they could have they played into They could have steered into that pretty hard. Yeah. But I don't. I don't know if enough of the uh, the writers and producers will actually really understand that shit in, in a way to in a way to actually make it funny. So they would have had to bring like, you know, us in. Yeah. Like, hey, you know, what 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 are we what are we gonna build diagrams so he can fuck with Edelman because you know the dude at Foxborough High School could have done this and you can't. And like, I mean, which which is pretty. It's funny. I think a few of you guys mentioned that shit. I, didn't I fucking did the impression, Adam. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. I yeah. got look, asshole. Foxborough High is the only team that offered you. Dude, a you, fucking I, you job. actually you imitate, you, <laughs> you imitate him pretty good. You do a pretty good job imitating him. Hey, he's, he's sitting but he was, you know, I, I, yeah, I thought he was good. I was, uh, I didn't. I, they were kind of him and Han as whether he's even going to be there. Um, they didn't want to commit to it. They didn't want to commit to it, and then uh, I thought it was. You know, for him, I thought it was really good. Yeah, like uh, the fact that he, number one, showed up and then, and then he was, and then he was pretty funny in his awkward way. You yeah, know? <laughs> you know. Um, so yeah, it was uh, that was pretty good. Now, pre-show, we're in the green room, and remember that? Were you remember you in there? Mm hmm And fucking. Bill's opening up. He's having fun. He's talking war mm -hmm. stories. We're talking mm -hmm. rookie skits. We're talking fun yeah. shit. I'm mm -hmm. doing the shit we know what Bill's all about. Mm -hmm. But it was like amplified because he was excited to see you guys. Who's in the room here, Jules? Job anymore. Uh, Randy, um, Drew, nice. me, Gronk. Yeah. And we were just chilling in there. Mm -hmm. Nice. Mm -hmm. And my brother and my buddy. And the, uh, yeah. the, the funny thing is, or interesting thing is, I think I was kind of gone when, they, when it first sort of happened, but. And then Kraft walks in. That's what I was about to just right? say. Yeah, and then Kraft walks in. And so my brother was feeling sorry for himself because he's over there and Belichick's kind of holding court. Well, as he's in the middle of the story, Kraft walks in. And so you guys all go over to say to Kraft. I, and I the didn't last move. And the last man standing, to hear him tell, the last man standing is my bro. And he's like, well, Bill's, Bill's telling the story. If I leave, then he's telling the story to nobody because everybody's over saying hi to Kraft. And then, uh, but they did, they did break it down and got together for, I don't know, probably, I don't know, 10 minutes at least, the two the of them. The tension in that room, though. It was, it was real. Good cut fucking it was, glass. It was, it was very real. It, it was, was very real. I, I was so awkward. I was like, I was watching Coach, and I tried to give Coach a heads up. I'm like, uh, I see Kraft walk in. I'm like, yo, Coach, woo! <laughs> you know, like, you know, some locker room mm -hmm. shit, like, 5-0, mm -hmm. 5 mm -hmm. You know, like, <laughs> he did of course he didn't fucking see it. Right. And right. he came in, and I was just like, oh, shit, this could be some fireworks. I just walked away. Mm -hmm. I didn't want to yeah. get in there. I would have done that, too, I think. How crazy, how <laughs> wild was that last no, night? No, man, that was, that was, that was some, that was some crazy shit, man. I mean, that was some crazy shit, no. you know. Did Bill really, or I mean, did Tom really get mad at fucking uh, Jeff Ross? We're doing uh so you know we were looking that? at that we were looking at that today and and you know we're sitting up there it's, it certainly wasn't on the teleprompter yeah um and uh yeah i don't know if that was part of the script or not yeah. but it seemed like it seemed that seemed sincere yeah like, like hey man no you don't go there um which by the way you know i, I did you know that Kraft was gonna be there i didn't know he was gonna be there until like yesterday yeah but like right when we did it i heard that um too. 
And they did that intentionally so that all these comedians didn't go too deep on the, you know, massage jokes and, and, mm. and all that, all that shit. We don't, yeah. And, uh, um, yeah, which was smart. There's some crazy ones that he had. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Alex Guerrero Incorporation oh, with massage. So uh, I will, I, I will <laughs> get a massage in a strip mall like so Robert I, I, will, I, will, I will tell you, I, 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 Sorry. like the only, like the only person I think the whole time, uh, well, other than Aaron Hernandez, he took a lot of jokes. So yeah. you know, yeah. R.I.P. Uh, you know, uh, rest in peace. R.I.P. Um, in or, murder three people, or, or rest in hell, or whatever. In, yeah, but but uh, um, love him to death. But, but, but uh, murder three people. But uh, um, yeah, Ger Alex Guerrero, you know, he took it on the chin a bunch, and uh, you should be used to that by now, right? Well, yeah, <laughs> rest mode, rest, rest mode. mode. Dude, by the way, dude. So many fucking gay jokes, dude. What happened there? <laughs> what happened there after I left, dude? I mean, what's the shower scene going on? Uh, yeah. Because uh, it was, it, it, there wasn't a bunch of that stuff happening when I was Full there. Full National so. Geographic bird watchers yeah. everywhere. In there. <laughs> right. People were just watching birds left and right, Drew. Yeah. No, I, I mean, I mean, look, we can, we can all be honest. Like, there's sometimes you're sitting in the locker room and there's some dude walks by and you can't help him. He's got this hanging between his legs. I mean... You know, you're gonna notice, but uh, um, yeah, no, a lot of gay shit going on. Uh, but I felt, but I felt back, felt bad for Alex because he's like he's just sitting in the audience and doesn't get to come up and and, and fire back at anybody. Um, I mean, I didn't really feel bad for him. I don't give a fuck. Yeah, but, right. But, 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 you know, but you know what? It's like it's like no. If you're gonna if you're gonna go after somebody, it's only if they can come back and get back after you. Yeah, but Alex was roasting me right before the damn roast. Oh, was he really? Yeah, and I, and I was like, all right, Al, I got you. I had a little joke. Mm -hmm. What, did you uh were you were you drinking pretty heavily there or you what you had a couple drinks were you toast at the end because i was toasty at, by the end at the yeah party. i stayed out of the tequila with you guys i was just drinking what red wine which that's 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 a little more mellow but um yeah we we had some margaritas for lunch and a couple cocktails in the green room and all that so i i, my, I was i was kind of surfing the you know point one two somewhere yeah <laughs> uh, <laughs> just had to make sure just had to make sure that that the uh that the that the uh the buzz was right, so I didn't seem super hammered. But yeah, there. I, I didn't want to get hammered before mm. I went out. No, I was, that's, why I, was, that's why I was happy to go early. I was pissed that I had to go late. <laughs> yeah, you were yeah. supposed to go third. Yeah, yeah. They added hella people though. There was people coming yeah. like in the woodworks like every day. Like, oh, this guy's yeah. coming now. This guy's. Yeah. What about like I don't know, Kardashian, Kim Kardashian? What, what, that what, was what? weird. I, I didn't understand why everyone booed her. Why well, they I don't, booed her? I, you know, I don't. I don't know that whole. Yeah. Deal. I don't know why they booed her. Either, but I don't. But what? Why? Her PR people was like, "The event's probably amazing. Let's get her on." And yeah, she, her Maybe set was actually pretty good, though. Her jokes were funny. It was yeah. just not the room for her. No, yeah, no, no, it's not the, no, it's not the. It, was it, it, it didn't, didn't fit. It, 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 yeah, it didn't. Uh, yeah, I mean, yeah. She there was some good. They, she did have some solid material. She but, got a, uh, she got a tough skin. Oh, yeah. Well, she, yeah. <laughs> Got to tough something else too. Uh, the, uh, the, uh, the, uh, the, uh, the uh, the uh, all the um, yeah. No, that one was that one was kind of weird. Um, and then um, obviously your uh, your buddy uh, Ben Affleck, man. That, that was I, I. I'm sitting there next to Randy. I lean was like, hey man, what the fuck's he talking about? Like I couldn't figure out what he's talking about. Yeah, I, I, you know, like he's, I think he had you know, he was talking about you know. Twitter critics or something, but I, I, it was, it was. Did it you guys awkward. know? Ah, something the Bills How did it look? Because I didn't. Sometimes media? we were yeah. getting messed up hearing. Yeah. So because we were behind speakers. Yeah. So we didn't get right. to really. Sometimes you really couldn't hear. Yeah. Was yeah. he? We. As bad, no, it I was a little. Was he as bad rambling. as he sounded? It was rambling a little bit. Yeah. yeah people were looking around like, "What I, is?" I love the... Ben and I wanted it to be awesome, but I just, yeah, I don't know. That's what uh, Ben gets for talking shit about our receiver core in fucking 2019. True. This is true. You think I don't remember that Affleck? I still remember that. Affleck. <laughs> Affleck. <laughs> the duck. He's a duck. <laughs> oh, Gilbert Godfrey ass. No. <laughs> now, but. take us through the process of, of this roast. How'd they ask you? How, did they, who approached you? And what was your feelings going into yeah, this thing? Yeah, it was, um, was it, uh, is it Jen Aiello from the NFL? That, uh, yeah, she, she reached out. I don't know. I, I can't even remember when. And initially I said, no, I can't make it because we had a, you know, for with the winery, we had a big, you know, um, deal going on up there. And, and she called and begged and I'm like, all right, cool. And I, first of all, it sounds fun, you know. And uh, so we were able to, we were able to make it happen a couple of weeks ago. And then, uh, and then we sat down and they're like, you know, 
brother and, and uh, my wife actually threw a joke in um, um, and uh, I just started throwing out some material at them and then um, they came back. The one thing I did really appreciate with the writers was I was I, I felt like it wasn't maybe my place to just throw in a wine plug and they wrote the wine material I'm like yeah. fuck yeah let's get it in there let's see you know we're gonna we're gonna do this let's let's let's, let's throw something in there um and then just went back and forth and back and forth and, and uh you know there were a couple things that like i just, just didn't like they wanted to do a lot of like september 2001 yeah. you know stuff but the well they, they they gave tom the uh that uh jets the, the, the jets you know crashing <laughs> into me so they, they wanted they wanted they wanted me to do that. And I'm like, yeah, fuck, that's not really, I don't really, you know, yeah. but I, th- I thought it worked well for Tom. Um, and then the other, and then the, uh, the, the, like the Packers stuff with, uh, with Favre, it's kind of like, we're talking about, you know, like, Hey, look, if he's not there, you, you know, you, you, know, you can't, uh, you can't go at him yeah. when he's not there. Um, so we went back and forth a little bit and my, and then my, uh, my wife did veto one Giselle joke. Yeah. Yeah. Then no, I'm not going to tell you. <laughs> not not on here. I'll tell you later. But 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 she. But she but I had my, a Giselle joke. Yeah. No. They're, they're, like, I mean, I obviously, you can go. You can go. You, it can, was, go, you uh, can go all the way. But Mara was like, Mm-mm. it was something like, we all know what Tom Brady's favorite term is. What is it? Let's go. Let's go. Mm-hmm. Guy trademarked it. It's the name of his podcast. It's also what his wife said when she took the kids and left. Mm-hmm. <laughs> mm-hmm. Yes. Yeah. Oh, I hated that, right? that we cut that. Uh, right. <laughs> we did that at the store and it got actually killed. It right? did. Did you right. do any prep? Did you go up at all on stage or just? Uh, I got there. Yeah, the night before we went and went and uh, kind of ran through the uh, just ran through the teleprompter stuff real quick. And it was interesting because I was thinking on the, on the when we when we got there, I was like, I actually I think I feel more comfortable doing this thing live with the audience um, than I did. Because, you know, you go, you'll read the prompter, and then you got a bunch of, like, stand-ins there, and, you know, and they're laughing at the jokes because they were told laugh at the fucking <laughs> yeah. jokes. So I, but, so, but it felt so, you know, disingenuous. I'm like, okay, well, are, are they actually really laughing at these fucking jokes, or yeah. are they just being nice? Um, and uh, so then, when, you know, when it's live, we're like, all right, cool, we'll go. And, um, and then you can go as long as you want to. It was fun. Yeah. No, I went, uh, I was fucking nervous when they asked me to do this thing. Well, I mean, look, man, it's, you, we're, we're, you know, go play football in front of a few million people. Cool. We've been doing that our whole lives. Yeah. We know exactly what we're doing, you know, not to do this shit. You know, are you going to go do comedy? Yeah. In front of a few million people. And dude, I've never done stand up before. You ever fucking, I mean, I've done a lot of public speaking, but I've never gone up and like, hey, all right, we're going to do a comedy set. It's different when you have to make people laugh. Yeah. Like, you have yeah. to go do something. Yeah. Like, when you're public speaking, you're doing a and a you're telling stuff yeah. you know, you're telling right. a story. Right. When you have an je- objective to go out and you actually have to, like, execute under pressure. Yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. I was nervous as fuck. And so Jeff, actually, we were doing the same thing. Me, Kyler, and Jack, we were sitting in the room, and we were just talking with uh, the, their writers. We threw out a bunch of jokes. And Jeff Ross, he goes, he could feel he could feel that I was a little nervous, mm-hmm. you know. And he goes, hey, why don't you come with me to the comedy store mm-hmm. and do your practice your set? Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, that's a great idea. So I went that Thursday, and oh, I right did on. my set on right Thursday. On. And I thought the comedy store was harder than the fucking st- the, the the right yeah the show because it's it's such an intimate setting i was like shaking like <laughs> it's just it was scary I, that was the first time i ever done any kind of stand-up shit right right yeah yeah no, i can see that for sure and you know and then you go there you know everybody, everybody's showing up there because they know all the stuff about yeah. tom and the sports yes. fans and all that stuff you go to the comedy store and you know you might have some uh dude from armenia that uh <laughs> that, 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 that you know doesn't even know what shape of football is uh, it's, it's it's, or a guy from new jersey who hates your guts <laughs> or, just, or that Bro, I got to say, Clutch Gene, you, you killed both of them. I know I gassed you up and bump your tires on here, but Stop you guys both, man. Stop glazing, dog. I am, man. I'm Jay, baby. I'm Jay Glazing. When, when Jules was running his set before the comic <laughs> store, I was nervous. I was nervous. Oh. Uh, no, I, actually, the only time I did sort of a dry run on it um, was uh, was actually for my for my wife. She's like, all right, if I'm, if I'm going to sign off on you, doing this i need to know what you're gonna say <laughs> right because she was um she and then my kids each of my four kids individually called because they were so nervous oh my god about oh dude 
dad's gonna, gonna embarrass <laughs> us, you know. And uh, so they they all they all wanted to they all wanted to hear some of the jokes. And I'm like, okay, okay, all right, that's actually pretty funny. All right, go, good, you're good. Um, so we 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 ran that for, but it, but yeah, I mean, it's nerve wracking when you're doing something you've never done in yeah. front of you know, I'm assuming a few million people. Yeah, Drew, who's the toughest critic in the Bledsoe family that you were like, oh fuck, like this is um, who I got to impress. Uh, probably my daughter. So we have three <laughs> sons and a daughter. My daughter's 21, and uh, and and she's a you know she's a great girl. She's 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 a little more buttoned up than the rest of the family, um, which is not a huge compliment. <laughs> uh, but uh, yeah, she'll she'll give me the big eye roll, and uh, and you know, and so yeah, she wanted to hear. But the uh, yeah, the the one, and again, I'm not telling you the joke. <laughs> But the one Giselle joke that didn't go in, my wife actually told our daughter, and it's a pretty fucking nasty joke. Uh, and she goes, "Okay, I gotta go," and I hung up the phone. Oh. She's, like, she's like, "No, this is not this is not happening. I'm not signing off on this. There's no way Dad's saying that." I heard pregame, pre-show, that Kevin Hart was debating on coming out in like a jujitsu robe or something. I was Jesus. thinking Jeff Ross might. Jesus, that's. <laughs> Yo, so I didn't know if that was on limits, but once Kevin went it, I mean, he was going Man. balls deep. <laughs> I dude, know. All, he, was, he was all in. Dude, how fucking great was he last night, too? Because the same deal. Like, we're sitting up there. We're, we're looking at the prompter. Mm -hmm. Dude, he was, he, was, he was rolling his own stuff. Like, and, you know. That's Unreal. When, that's when you know somebody's super, super fucking talented. You just get up there and like, hey, we're, we're just going to run with this in the middle of a few million people, or in front of a few million people and, uh, and, and crush it. Yeah, I was. I, I've been talking about that as well because we mm. can see the prompters. Yeah, right. And so you could see who was kind of, you know, mm. improving, who wasn't. All the mm. pros, they could like say what the prompter said in a different way, and then bring mm. a story into it, right. reference something that someone said, like, and that's what Kevin was doing. And he was a fucking. You could tell that dude's a pro. Yeah. He, he makes yeah. that money for a reason. Yeah, no doubt, no doubt. Yeah, it was. Yeah, he was. Dude, how cool was it that like Chappelle was there last night? Just to watch, yeah. And Shane Gillis is there last night just to watch, yeah. Um, and uh, uh, yeah, we went to the comedy store after and and watched. Uh, ended up watching Chappelle for about an hour. Just sit on stage and kind of talk to the audience, like he didn't have any material or whatever. Just, but dude, he's to me, he's the he's the certainly the greatest living comedian in my mind. Yeah. Um, but yeah, those guys those guys showed up just to watch this shit. Well, it's Comedy Fest right now, right? Yeah. yeah. Yep. yeah. So everyone's in town. Right. Right. And it, you know the comics, they all they are all very supportive of each other. Yeah. You know what I mean? And mm -hmm. Jeff's kind of, he, you know, he's been in that world. And they all, yeah. everyone, you know, they're all friends and they go out and support mm -hmm. each other. And hate each other. And hate each other. <laughs> Any uh, other, huh? Oh, yeah. No, yeah, absolutely. We, we we just went, played golf with a bunch of them today and they're just kind of hanging out and they the, the the interesting thing with the, the with the comics, which I you know I, I I guess maybe makes sense, but you know a lot of them when you sit down and talk to them, I mean they're they're not funny, <laughs> you know uh, you know like they're, 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 like, they're like, depressed. Kinda, it's like you know like Will Ferrell was there today, right? And so I haven't spent any time with him, but talk to him a little bit, and and you you go talk to him, and it's for me it's it's kind of hard to keep a straight face because I'm looking at this guy I'm like dude that's fucking Ron Burgundy. You know, that's, you know, that's, um, you know, all of his famous, you know, it's uh, Ricky Bobby, you know, it's all this stuff. And then you're just having a normal conversation with this person. And you're like, God, this is kind of weird, man. You know, and uh, I mean, you know, they're smart and, and good people. But, you know, I, th I think I sort of had in my mind that, you know, you go talk to a to a comedian. Yeah. And you can sit down and he's going to be funny the whole time. And you're like, no, actually, they're just normal people. And then they make people laugh, you know, for a work. You can tell they're smart. Yes. Yeah. The good ones. The good ones have to be smart, and they got to be wicked quick. Yeah, and they're uh, witty as fuck. Yes. Off top of shit. Like they, if they, I don't know. How good was Ron Bur or Will Ferrell last night? That was pretty fun. Oh, dude, that was so great. Yeah, he also was one of the guys that was going off the script. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. No, he was. Yeah, he was. Yeah, he was. He was rolling with his own stuff, and because you know, same. We're sitting there watching the prompter, and like. Giselle? What do you he call has, her? He hasn't even. <laughs> yeah. Gizzle, Gizzle. Gizzle. Dude. This is so good. <laughs> yeah. Oh, man. He was at Madison Square Garden. Okay. <laughs> yeah, he, <laughs> just, yeah, like, he just. 
No, it was, how about I mean, those it was, Knickerbockers? It was, it was, it was uh, <laughs> no, it was, it was brilliant. But yeah, we're sitting there watching and like, wow, he's been going for a while and he hasn't even started his the yeah. prepared material. Um, but yeah, dude, that was that was that was. When awesome. did you know he was going to show up? He wasn't billed as a, on anything. I didn't know until me. he walked out personally. Yeah. Did you know he's going to be there? Uh, maybe like right before the show. I didn't okay, know. I didn't know either. Either. It was a very big surprise. Right. Yeah, I didn't. Yeah, I didn't know Peyton was going to be there. Oh yeah. Oh, Peyton so I go either. to take a piss, mm-hmm. and I see Peyton in the green room. Okay. Like, what the fuck are you doing here? <laughs> mm-hmm. He goes, "All right, I'm gonna join the rose." I was like, "He goes, don't don't tell anyone." I'm like, "I'm telling everyone. Social media's <laughs> out." <laughs> Let's put it out on Twitter right now. <laughs> yeah. Um. He goes. They said something earlier. They said that, that, that Eli was going to be there as well. Um. Which that would have been that would have been kind of funny too, but yeah, no, it was um, Gronk killed like a you know uh, you killed. I know yeah, um, I thought Randy did a great job, but he was I th- I do think he was really nervous. Yeah, um, and dude, and then the pros come out, and there's a reason they're pros. Oh yeah, dude, Nikki Glazer, she was funny. Oh so my good. god, she got MVP. I, I think Man. so. Yeah, right. I think I think I think, her. She, I think she did. <clears throat> I told her after uh, we debunked because we. Bumped. She was, um, she was you know, at the after party. I went over and talked to her. I was like, I think you're kind of a Bond villain because <laughs> you're super hot, yeah, and you are an absolute killer, you know. And like she's just like you know, and and then you talk to her in person, and she's the sweetest, nicest yeah. person that you could ever friggin' meet. But dude, her set killed. Yeah, I had some intel. I knew she was gonna hit me with the with the gay joke. Shocking. One of my friends was uh, at right, look, the dude, store. If everybody's saying it, Jules, then everybody's saying it, I man. Mean, I mean, dude, just go ahead and come on out, dude. As Belichick say, you suck one cock, you're a cocksucker. <laughs> 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 yeah, right. I wish I had a lot less problems. A lot more money. Yeah. Um, no, Jeff Ross, though, dude, I, I mean, how great is that fucking dude? He's awesome. Dude, your, uh, your uh, Jewish joke on him was perfect <laughs> Spot on. dude like I, I saw where you're going like this your 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 piece of it or you're like hey you know i'm the jewish guy was like wow you're, you're jewish and you're the just and I, I knew you were gonna say something about it, but then when you went <laughs> make people want to join hamas i'm like dude, <laughs> dude dude that was that was that was that was fucking funny jeff yeah. he, didn't jeff say he's gonna use that when we we're talking telling it to him at the store or yeah, something like that. Well, Jeff was awesome because that was when Sam he was Rowe at the store. With that. Yeah, shout out no, Sam. that was ours. That was ours. That was ours. Um, after the comedy store, Jeff sat with us for about thirty minutes, thirty-five minutes, and like went over the script and was like, mm. "Okay, cut mm. that. That was good. You know what? That's not you. Right. That's too deep." And like he was super supportive and yeah. dude, he he's the general. Mm-hmm. He was in on your creative meetings. Uh, he was in the. He was on my. I, I only had, I had one Zoom call with him. Yeah, and he was there. He was there for that one and. Um, I just kind of ran through some of the stuff that we had down, and then, and then, you know, I think he chimed in a little bit, but, but, left it. But you know, one of the things though, I mean, you were talking about these comedians and, and how supportive they are of each other, and and um, and all of that stuff. Great like the like the guys. Oh yeah, let's Great let's go, and uh, appreciate it. The, uh, <laughs> um, they're so generous. Like the like the like these people that are like Jeff Ross, you know, um, Kevin, all these all these people they're generous and supportive, and there's there's a there's a camaraderie there where they're like, and I you know there's also like, a, even if you're being mercenary, there's a motive there because you know if we go up there and fucking bomb, then the show had, loses all its energy, and so they don't want us to bomb either. Yeah, yeah. But you know, but yeah, just just so generous and, and helping out and, and uh, being supportive of, of each other and, and and helped us out too, which is cool. Definitely, I and mean, it made us feel a lot more comfortable. Yeah, for sure. Dude, look for at sure. you, looking like a stud. You're dressed to impress. Who who dressed you? Me. I, I had that. So this this uh, this black shirt that I'm wearing, I, I almost threw it out. It's a it's it's the only Versace I've ever had in my life, and I've had it shoot for I don't know, fifteen twenty years. And it was almost gone. I'm like, oh, you know what? We're gonna go black on black with the old tuxedo top. I like it. Yeah. Um. So going so going early was probably you you preferred that. Yeah, that was that was uh, that was yeah. I, mostly mostly because dude, I wanted I just wanted to be done. Yeah. Because I don't know how you were, but when I'm sitting up there before I'm going, I'm like I'm I'm not even really paying attention to like 
Kevin and Jeff because I'm in my head like, okay, this is they're gonna do this, gonna do this, gonna do this, and I like, and so I, I mean, I knew there were some laughs and stuff, but but once I was done, dude, I'm off the clock, yeah, and I can just giggle, yeah. I mean, were you uh were you, were you kind of were you in your own head until you're until you're set? Definitely. I mean, I I I downloaded my script, mm -hmm. my jokes on my uh, my phone. Mm -hmm. So I I just peep over them here and there. But yeah. I mean, I was pretty calm. I was I was pretty. Yeah, you stuck the landing, dude. I mean, uh, yeah. they're, 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 like, dude, there were as far as we could tell, there were no nerves, you know. Um, but you uh, yeah, you stuck the landing. If I didn't do that comedy store, I would have been fucking shot. Right. You know that I had the rep. Yeah, right. Yeah, so. yeah. Just one, just one, even just, yeah, just one walkthrough. Very good. Now, how crazy was it to see all three of those guys in the room together? Bill, Kraft, and Tommy. Right. Yeah. I mean, how crazy it was surreal. Was it? Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. It was, uh, yeah, it was cool, man. I, you know, I, 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 I know that there's, you know, it's uh, the whole thing is complicated and you know that stuff oh. better, better than I do. And, and, um, but yeah, at the end of the day, though, there's still a lot of respect across, yeah. the, across the board amongst all three of them. Um, so I but, think it was good to see Bill there to, for for Tom. Yeah, no, one hundred percent. Yeah, I mean? it was. It was. I think it was. I think it was good for Tom. I think it was good for Bill. And it was. Uh, yeah, that was. I was. I was glad he showed up. I yeah. really was glad that Bill showed up. It's still so funny though, man. We go back there and like he's not coaching. He's like we go back to do that cold open deal and we're gonna film that that little piece. First of all, it took him like eight takes. Like, dude, Bill, it's like one sentence, you know. Um, and I, yeah. you didn't say what, that. Um, I didn't say that, but that's what I'm thinking. Yeah. And uh, but then, like, dude, like you're not coach right now. And then it immediately goes straight into ball. Like he just, it's just all ball all the time. Even <laughs> now that he's not coaching, you yeah. know. And uh, yeah, it's interesting. It, it'll be interesting to see where he goes next year. Yeah. Yeah. Um, what do you think? Where do you think he lands? Well, it depends. How good the Cowboys, the Philly does, right? You know, so my uh, Giants, Giants. So my uh, my conspiracy theory was that when Saban retired, that that uh, Saban and Bill were gonna get together and go like one last hurrah together That's somewhere. Fuck. You think that? Would I don't think. I just uh, there's like like you know sort of what like one of those like. Hey, let's go. Let's go one last hurrah together, and, and uh, go take over either a college or a pro program. And and uh, I don't think they'll go college. No one wants dude, this college. Nobody is, wants to go college. College is you, you have to you have free agency. Everyone's on a one year deal. Not even a one year deal, like a month to month deal. Yeah, like dude, you finish up spring ball and you got your secondary, and all of a sudden they all go to you know LSU. <coughs> yeah, and uh, you know, small schools like ours, <laughs> you know. We're just farm teams, <laughs> you know. Yeah, we, you were a Pac-12 team or Pac-10 team. We, yeah, we were a Pac-10 team, and um, you know, so I mean, we were underdogs because we were a smaller, you know, smaller school, but we were still part of the Pac, you know, Pac-10, yeah. and, and then the Pac-12, and um, then when that all changed, man, you know, you go find that diamond in the rough, you know, you go find your Julian Edelman, you know, that that's under recruited or whatever, and comes in and balls out, and next thing you know, boom, nil, gone, right? Yeah. Um, and, um, uh, um, I was thinking about it. If I was at Kent state and I had my first year, I was like second team all Mac. I would have went to Oregon. I would got the fuck out of there. Dude, I, we were going, this was going so well, dude. Yeah. I fucking hate Oregon. Don't tell me you would have gone to Oregon. But that was the time where they had a offense, like a, a as a quarterback. Oh, dude, it's over. Come on. Can we cut? So my hatred for the ducks is twofold. When I was in, in school, they were they were bad. Like, yeah. They were shitty at football, but they played great against me. Yeah. Right? So I took that personally. And then we live in Oregon, so we're surrounded by all these Duck fans that think they invented fucking football, and they're so annoying. So anyway, I forgive you. You didn't go to Oregon, but it just, uh, man, it hits a nerve, man. I hate it. But yeah, you would, yeah, you know, I'm, uh, yeah, you would, like, especially, you know, for, for you, if you're, if you're, you know, the athlete that you are and you're playing quarterback, you get, you get in some, um, you know, RPO deal. Dude, you lit the fucking world on fire. Yeah, it would have been. Either, it's either. just this whole college football thing, though. Yeah, it's rough, man. I don't like it. They're going to have to like do it. something. Uh, yeah. I think, uh, actually, I think, I don't know if it's an original thought or not, but Chip Kelly, I thought, had, the like, the, the, the appropriate answer. Separate football. Make football its own thing. Yeah. And uh, and then you can, you know, you can 
move that around do but but you don't punish all these olympic athletes that are yeah. having to travel to fucking rutgers to you know to go swim or you know or it's absurd you know. i love that it's always rutgers it's like UCLA. It's, right? <laughs> it's the end of the yeah, earth. It's the end of the earth. Yeah, it's like the, it's like Shout you, out they're easy to make fun of. It's like the Jets. They're easy to make fun of. The McCourty uh, Bros. Yeah, but uh, uh, R.I.P. to the Pac-12, huh? Sad, right? That's I. I grew up a Pac-10 guy or Pac-10 guy. Yeah. I rooted for him. Yeah, I liked Berkeley. I lived in Stanford area yeah. and shit. Yeah, a lot of history, man. That's it's it's three generations for our family. My dad played for the Washington Huskies, and then um, I played for the Cougs. My brother. Uh, played for the Colorado Buffs, which they weren't part of the pack at that point. Yeah, uh, and then my son played for the Cougs. You know, so it's like, man, three generations, and all of a sudden, it's like it's just not going to exist anymore. It's it's, it's weird, man. It's so weird, it. but honestly, it's on the leadership of the Pac-10. They fucked it up. I think it might even. It's, I think it even goes deeper than that. The it's universities. On, it's on, it's on the university presidents that, yeah. are, that are mismanaged. They got to grab for money wherever they can. So it sucks, man. I hate it. It's I, sad. Yeah, it is sad. It is sad. I mean, the coolest thing in the world was the Rose Bowl. Fuck yeah, right? You know, it's like yeah, that Pac-10 was that was that was the, Big that, Ten. that was the thing, man. It was and that was sort of the pinnacle. At least if you're, you know, those two conferences, there was no, you know, so maybe, maybe, football- maybe I'm just being old and nostalgic. But dude, that that was so cool. That was the best. And the pageantry of it was so cool. I mean, you're like 30 years older than me, and I, that's that was cool to me too, bro. Go fuck yourself, dude. <laughs> <laughs> Jackie, why don't you uh, break down these roasters? Who was at this roast? All right, I mean, this was a star. We love talking star power on this pod. This was star-studded last night. For everyone that has been living under a rock and might not have seen it last night, Kevin Hart, Tom Brady, Julian Edelman, Drew Bledsoe, Gronk, Moss, Belichick, Peyton Manning, Ben Affleck, Will Ferrell as Ron Burgundy, Andrew Scholl, Sam Jay, Jeff Ross, um, Dana White, Kim Kardashian, Tom Segura, Burt Kreischer, Tony Hinchcliffe, and that's just who was John Rich Harbaugh Eisen was too? in the crowd. Rich Eisen? Did you see John? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Or, no, uh, no, Jim. Was John G- out there too? Ooh. We saw Jim in the parking lot. Yeah. Room. Jim Harbaugh. Yeah. Jim, 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 Jim was there. Yeah. Fresh out of his RV. Yeah. And then I saw Kyle Shanahan. Shanahan. And speaking, Kyle of Shanahan. How, speaking of how fucking old I am, you know, like, like, you know, Jim, we, you know, we were contemporaries, right? Yeah. You know, so yeah, we, yeah, we were in the Pro Bowl together one year. Um, and he was always a little bit odd, but he's a hell of a coach. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's an understatement. Uh, sorry, Jim. Love you, man. <laughs> How do you think he's going to do in the Chargers with Herbert? Man, I hope. I, so Justin Herbert, right, to me, is is so friggin' talented. I think he's one of the, he's in that very, very top tier. Came from a, a great university. Yeah. Get the fuck up. <laughs> <laughs> that's, how much, that's, how much, that's, how much I, that's how much I love Justin Herbert is that I actually love him even though he played for the Ducks. Yeah. And, they, and, and to come back and. Just bring that back around. The Ducks wasted him. Yeah, like it, like he should have been. He should have been lighting the world on fire. And they, their their offense wasn't 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 the right one for him. But I I, I really I really hope that he that, that Jim's able to to put some stuff around um, Justin Herbert because I think he's a special kid. Dude, I think he's gonna he's gonna be a lot better because they're gonna run the ball. They're gonna yeah. have the, the play action yeah. game. Yeah. He can move. They're gonna mm-hmm. get him under the center. It's like just not like rely on the kid the whole time. Yeah, right. Yeah, just, just don't don't, don't just put it all on him. Yeah, right? yeah. Dude, I was trying to figure out what the heck I did to Sam J. Like we'd never met, <laughs> man, and she went in on me hard, <laughs> hard. Oh, she went in on me hard, which was uh, which is like wow, man. You got any jokes for her? She's coming on Wednesday. Yeah, she's oh, is she really? Yeah. yeah. I'll come up with some shit. Hell yeah, <laughs> we'll, roast. we'll keep nah, it in our back pocket. It was, it was funny. It was funny, but it's like you know, it's like you know, look if you're gonna be part of the roast you want somebody to get after you pretty hard so yeah. you know yeah but that was yeah dude and then um um tony hinchcliffe i want i want to go back and watch because he, he did was that, funny he did that he did that, he did that bit and it was so fast about all the kings like burger king rodney king and like all this stuff and i need to go back and look at it because i think it was genius stuff yeah. but it went so fast to so like dude like somebody doing like fast you know magic you know, yeah uh, where you watch and you're like oh, well, i don't know what happened right there but it was really funny I, I I came in at the middle because I was pissing. Oh, I think we I think oh. we, I think we got them, took a piss at the same time. Yeah. So I walked back in the middle. <laughs> and of you were the coming. Studio. Us yeah. too. Yeah. I'm, yeah. I'm gonna botch it, but I got it right. But there. Everyone was know. laughing hard. Oh, when they, I came they were. Back. No, they were going. Yeah, because because he was out in the audience. But yeah, thanks for coming and helping hold my dick in the bathroom. I appreciate it. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, well, uh, you know, I have I carry tweezers at all times. Yeah, no, I, <laughs> I got him. Got him. I got the I got the transcript. I'm not gonna do it as well as Tony, of course. Bert Kreischer is a king. He looks like the Tiger King and the Liver King, only ate at Burger King and had a liver that looked like Martin Luther King, 
who got beat up by Rodney King. Man. Yes. Yes, right. Jeez. And like I, I walked, I walked. Yeah, we, I, I got back right when he was saying that. I was like, "Whoa, <laughs> that was that was a lot of shit." That's like some hurry, Eminem level man. wordplay. It was great, man. It was yeah, I gotta go great. rewatch that one. You go ahead. Oh no, dude. And then um, um, our boy uh, Andrew Schultz that closed it out. Whew. I, I I talked to him for a minute afterwards. Uh, the coolest video I saw him was when he first, you know, got his the first gig at Madison Square Garden, he took his dad yeah. to go walk around. And like, I mean, it just was cool, man. He realized his dream, you know, of making it. Yeah. You know? um, great friggin' dude. And he slayed it too. Yeah. I, I didn't, I didn't get to, I, I didn't get, by the time he came on, I think I couldn't hear. Oh. Yeah. I, I, it was sort of, I was, uh, I was kind of going, it was sort of like watching, you know, it was sort of like watching a, the movie with the, uh, Subtitles? Sub subtitles on yeah. we could read the we could read yeah. the prompter which i also i tried not to watch it because i wanted to like listen to the joke listen to the joke but I'm like oh shit oh that's gonna be funny right you know um so we were able to kind of keep up with it a little bit but i i, I actually I'm, I'm looking forward to going back and actually yeah watch same it. here the, we, i did a little bit last night it's definitely a different product on netflix like being in the building, you don't get the reactions of everyone. Like, there's little stuff you miss when they, like, hone in on, like, someone who's getting roasted. Like, it just adds a nice little element that uh, it's definitely worth rewatching. On that yeah. Place. Well, I know they're going to edit it down probably for time, yeah. right? You know, go Not over. really. It's a streamer. Well, yeah. yeah. Oh, right? But I think they're going to tighten it up. They're going to tighten it up and condense it down. But, too, but how about fucking Kreischer walking around the after party with his, with his shirt <laughs> off? Standard. I mean, that's just as like, dude, go ahead. And then, so... Crazy thing is that that my bro and our and our buddy um, sat at the table with his wife. Yeah, and did, you guys didn't even know it was his wife, right? So I just thought she was there to, to to support him, and just an absolute sweetheart, like the kindest, cutest little thing. And uh, like, oh, my, you poor thing, you that's that's this is what <laughs> this is what you sleep with every night. Like, holy sheep shit, Frank. <laughs> Get in the car. Remember, like when Frank the Tank's fucking yeah. streaking. A little cold yeah. out there, Frank. Yeah, right. Yeah, Frank. You know, not, no, seriously. Like she and, but she's like she's cute. She's sweet. Yeah. She's funny and and obviously he's a great dude. Otherwise yeah. he's otherwise he's you know not with her. Um, but yeah, man, it was funny. I did think who 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 hit him with the uh, with the bit like, dude, you don't even know how to be a fat comedian. You don't do drugs and you only fuck your wife. <laughs> I think <laughs> like, that was Sam J also. That, yeah. it was, that was her. I woman. think it yeah, was. Yeah. yeah. Oh, then, man. Are you it making like stand cocaine up? from them? I really like it, man. I really, really like stand up. We So when we were when we were out in Boston, we would go to the Comedy Connection quite a bit. Mm -hmm. As a matter of fact, uh, Dane, Dane Cook was was there at the after party. I don't know if you saw him, but. Uh, he was wearing a J11 shirt circa 2014. Mm -hmm. Fun oh, fact. OG oh, fan. I saw that. No. Oh. Overpriced fucking bullshit. <laughs> the, the, uh, the, uh, the, uh, uh, the, uh, um, shit, where was I going with that? Um, comics, going, uh, comedy connection. Back oh, in yeah, yeah, exactly. So we used to go to the comedy connection. Yeah. And watch live comedy up there. And, and, um, where is that? In Faneuil Hall. Faneuil Hall. Yeah. I don't know if it's still there or not. I don't know. Maybe they rebranded it or whatever. But man, we, uh, man, we saw some, we saw some great, great and, uh, comics and, and, uh, Dane Cook was the host, though. Like, yeah. he was just getting going. So he was, like, the guy that would come and introduce everybody else and do a couple jokes. And, um, I mean, yeah, we saw Tommy Davidson there um, who crushed. And then, I don't know if you remember Anthony Clark, but he he actually, like, punished us. Like, yeah. like, like we Adam was there. And we literally, like, are putting our heads under the table and covering our ears because yeah. we, were, we were, like, couldn't breathe. Yeah. It was killing. So, no, I, I, dude, I, I, no, the great stand-ups are fucking amazing. You know, I, I when I started this podcast, we originally had Sam Morell on it. Okay, he was my co-host. He's okay. a he's a uh, comic out of New York, mm -hmm. and I was living in New York, or we were we were producing it first season out of New York, and so we would go hang out with them at the cellar. Okay, and down in New, like the comedy cellar, right? And so we'd go out there and we'd just go to watch him do his bits, and then we'd go into the back room, and Shane Gillis would be there, and all like these. All these comics were there, and and so, and then to come out here, and I, I used to go to the the store a lot, the Laugh mm -hmm. Factory. Mm -hmm. You know, it's just a fun. It's it's a good night. 
when you go it's and a great night man you go laugh, friends your ass off it's and, a fun date yeah, yeah. you know it, it, absolutely it's it's fucking fun it makes you laugh it gets yeah. you out of it's good for you it's good for your health yeah You're supposed to laugh a lot we went to uh friday we went to the hollywood bowl and watched oh, bill burr did you yeah oh. it was fun dude it was funny so we we, we played golf with, with bill burr this yeah. afternoon and uh, and it was the first time I'd met him. We'd like exchanged text me- text messages and stuff, and, and uh, um, we we're playing. And and my my bro says he goes, dude, isn't it weird? Don't you feel like you've known him for like fifteen years? <laughs> because we've been listening listening to his stuff for so long. Yeah. And his and his style is like he's sitting here, right? Yeah. You know, he's up there. It's like you're sitting around, and you're like. Dude, I feel like I know this freaking guy. Yeah. Um, and then he was exactly the guy that we wanted him to be. Yeah. Um, but yeah, dude, he dude, he he kills. I saw him so the night I went to the store. Right. We saw him. He he did a set. He was practicing or something. And just like you said, I thought I knew him. I thought right. we met already. Right. right. He's like, nice to meet you for the first time. I'm like, what the fuck? Dude, I because he did our like documentary. He did our doc, yeah. And like I, I wasn't there, but like I felt like I've met him somewhere because yeah. you feel like you know mm-hmm. him. Mm-hmm. We've watched all his shit. He's a Boston guy, yeah. you know what I mean? And he's he's exactly what you said. Yeah, when was, you meet him, he's what you want him to be. It was kind of cool. I, you know, and I don't know if this is interesting enough for the podcast, but I think you'll like to hear it. You guys can cut it later if you want to. But I was asking about his process. Yeah, and and or how he broke in, right? How do you how'd you how'd you break in? And he goes, well, I just I just I discovered I wasn't very good at anything else except for making people laugh. But he said the hardest part when you when you first break in is you get on stage or, you, or they call your name, you walk up on stage, and you've got all these stories and jokes that you've been telling to your buddies that make them laugh, and then you get on stage, and all of a sudden that goes away, and now you're like, you're, you're just performing. And he said the hardest part was um, getting to the point where he was confident enough that he could just go talk on stage like he would talk in his living room. Yeah. And now he's completely accomplished that because we all feel like we're we all feel like we know him, right? Yeah. You know, which is cool. And that was that was fun watching Chappelle um, sit there last night. You know, and he wasn't doing a set. He you know he didn't kill, but dude, it was like just watching. It's like watching like a great jazz musician practice, like yeah. just sitting on the stage and just and just riffing with people and just having the conversation and you know. So probably yeah. an inspo. Hmm? He's probably out there just inspo. Yeah, no, looking at people, hearing chatter. Yeah, Those guys he, are such creative he's, he's, minds. So he's like talking back and forth to the audience and, and um, yeah, making fun of people. I, <laughs> I was slightly, slightly less wasted. I might have like walked up and sat down today because I, because I was like the only thing I wanted to do, and I didn't want to like, you know, jump in or ask him questions or whatever. I just wanted to drop more quarters into the machine. <laughs> you know, and and uh, like just go go up there and like, because he was at the roast, watched the whole thing. Just kind of, if if I could go back in time, you know, a few hours, um, would have walked up and like, all right, hey man, so the roast went tonight. You know, what did we miss? Where would you have gone? You know, and yeah. like, and, and just like, mm. and then just kind of start going to, but just because he was just up there riffing, he was having fun, he was being cool, um, did some funny stuff. I don't even remember what he did. I just know we were laughing. Um, but it would have been pretty fun to just like drop some more quarters in him and get him going. Hell yeah! <laughs> I mean, he's hilarious. Um, how's Bill Burr's ball, uh, golf game? Uh, even worse than mine, dude. <laughs> he, he's fucking terrible. Are he's you not like, a good golfer, Drew? Yeah. You just don't golf enough, or what? No, I play, but you know, I, I can play. I can I can hit good golf shots, but yeah, I just I don't know. It, it, once it once it goes sideways, it goes sideways. Yeah. Um, you know, so I'm 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 okay. But I but I, but um Bill, he yeah, he just said he he well, I mean you you know, you know him as much as I do. But you can tell he doesn't have the temperament for golf. <laughs> you, you know, like he just he is not patient. He's not gonna go spend time on it. Um but but just super fun being with him. Yeah. Aren't you like a badass skier? I I ski a bunch. I ski a bunch. Started skiing when I was uh when I was two years old. Yeah. And um yeah, I had to uh I had to uh you know, my where'd fault. you ski? Uh, I just grew up in the in in the in the northwest. Skied up in the uh, Cascade Mountains up there in the uh, uh, in Washington State, and then uh, bounced around. But then I I made the mistake of telling Kraft right after he bought the team about this amazing heli skiing trip I took my dad on, and uh, I was young and stupid, and I was twenty two, and and uh, it was like a lifelong dream for me to be able to take dad heli skiing, 
Um, but I remember, I do remember now in, in retrospect, he looked at me kind of funny. And then when we did my second contract, all of a sudden there was all this language in there about what happens if I get hurt skiing. Yeah. <laughs> but, um, but I was like, my, my dad was a big-time skier when he was a kid. Oh, was he really? Yeah, and I, and I used to ski, and then when I was, like, 11, I started snowboarding. We used to go to Tahoe. You know, Tahoe okay. was, like, four yeah. hours, three hours. Mm -hmm. And then I would go on to these, uh, I went on these, like, high school trips, these invasion trips where you go out, like, a weekend with just friends and, like, chaperones. Oh, wow. Which was insane. It's like your first time being out on the road by yourself as a kid in high school. Like, just packing your bag with booze and fucking... I'm just, just trying but, to get some stink finger and, and yeah. Uh, yeah, 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 I know, yeah, yeah, I know what you're doing. We almost got arrested because we went to Mount Bachelor, Oregon one year. Yeah, which was a cool mountain. Yeah, that's our home mountain. We like we live in Bend. It's 20 yeah. minutes from our house. And we we tried to shoulder tap for some booze, mm. and I guess that's like really illegal in Oregon or something. Yeah. What's, <laughs> what's shoulder tap? It's where you ask someone to go to the liquor store and buy you beer. Oh. Full of super bad. Hey, nice. hey, ma'am. Yeah. <laughs> right. Of course I would. <laughs> Mm -hmm. uh, uh, so, but you, 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 but you, you don't get on the snow anymore. You know, I just started. Okay. I started snowboarding again when I, right when I retired. Mm -hmm. But when I was skiing and shit, I was like 165, 70 pounds. Right. I was like a little kid doing yeah. like flips and shit. Right, like 200 pounds now. It's like different. Well, and shit hurts a lot more. Yes, I mean, you get a little bit. I mean, I know you're. Like you said, thirty years younger than I am, but 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 it does hurt more to fall when you get a little bit older. Um, so, but are you, are you you have healthy knees? I do, I do. That's the best. Yeah, yeah. I mean, such a crazy blessing, and my you know, I mean, obviously got knocked around quite a bit. Um, but yeah, orthopedically, I'm healthier than most other guys my age. Dude, that's the one thing I feel. Yeah, especially when you're strapped in on the on the snowboard. Right. You're sitting on that front leg. I'm goofy. Mm. So my front leg is forward, and I could feel, like, in my fucking joint. Right. I, I have bad cartilage damage and no yep. PCL, a root tear. Like, that's why I ultimately retire because of my knee. So I feel that shit. Right. And it fucking sucks. Yeah. No. You're going to go do, like, some stem cell? You're going to try and I've regrow some? Regrow some and I, I've, there's people that are, there's the Panama guy. There's the fucking German dude. <laughs> there's this guy. <laughs> right. They're still like six, seven years away from yeah, actually dialing being able, really, in. Really being able to they don't know how to stuff. activate the stem cell yet. Mm -hmm. It's a crapshoot when they're shooting that shit in mm -hmm. you. You know, because yeah. I've had it. I had it in my knees before 19. Mm -hmm. And I put it in my shoulder and my groin. Like, and you're like, all right, this doesn't do anything. Right. You know, right. or it could be placebo. The people that say, like, oh my God, it's the best day ever. Like, nah, dude, this shit doesn't yeah. do shit. Right. They still haven't activated the, the stem cell. Okay. Well, they need to because I, I, the only thing that bugs me is my lower back. And I, I just, I, I it's because you're a I wanna, big I wanna, dude. I wanna re, well, yeah, and yeah. I don't know. I, but I just, what do you I, weigh? I 230? 230? Mm -hmm. 225? 230 to 240, somewhere in there. I don't know. I haven't stepped on a scale in quite a while. And he, he's put together. Like, it's just because he's stout. Fucking. You're just, like all I'm American just, man. Just fucking yes. yoked, dude. I'm just fucking yoked, dude. I, I wouldn't go that far, Drew. <laughs> <laughs> You're more like Paul Bunyan. Yeah, the uh, the uh, <laughs> uh, um, what was he? What was he? You caught me on your uh, your uh, on your uh, fucking video camera down at your garage. So somebody said, I, mean, I was down there. It was a hot summer day, and he's a garage. He's got a video camera down there, and it alerts him. <laughs> because Dude, it looks like Carol Baskin's breaking into your garage from Tiger King. I'm like, that's fucked no up. No way. That's, that's fucked up. She's not, she's, not, really she's, not, she's not yoked like me. <laughs> Hold on. Can we talk about Ernie for a second? Yes. Like, he was always hiding in the shadows. Like, he was the super secret agent that nobody knew about. He never did anything. And all of a sudden, he's, like, all over everything. Oh, yeah. Like, he just decided he wants to, like, oh, cool, I'm going to get my, uh, I'm going to get my fame. I, f I flew his ass out here and had him on the pod. Did you really? And he That's lit awesome. it. I mean, he was great. Yeah. Did you ever talk with Ernie? A little bit, you know, and he was always nice. Yeah. But I remember when, like, when, when, uh, when Bill first got there and, uh, um, and, you know, Ernie's there, nobody could figure out what he did. Like, we didn't know what the hell was going on. Yeah. Like, he was just kind of in the shadows. He would watch everybody. He would only talk to Bill, maybe to Bears. Um, and we were like, dude, it was a mystery. We didn't know what the hell was going on. I felt that same way for about 
five years, six yeah, years. Right. And I finally saw him eating his, his heirloom tomato with fucking fork and knife and pepper or salt. I go, I just sat down next to him. I was like, yo, what the fuck do you do? Yeah, what do you do? Yeah. He's like, well, yeah. You know how he is. He's kind of like awkwardly. Mm-hmm. Like, mm-hmm. And so then I, he's like basically did all our cards. So any scout team card okay. was from Ernie. Oh, interesting. Which is crazy. He did all like the films. I mean, he was like Bill's right hand man. Right. But I think like, it was my. I think it was like my. Uh, it was like late in the first season they were there, and again it was a complete mystery. And I think we were playing the. I think we were playing the Chiefs. It was like crunch time at the end, just fourth down call, fourth and goal to you know run a play to win the game, and so I come over and like we're you know timeout. We're we're you know kind of talking about what we want to call and the, the Drew. What do you want to call? You know Charlie. What do you think? Get the donut out of your mouth, and and uh, <laughs> uh, 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 and. Uh, and uh, and so, like, all of a sudden, I, I hear Bill go, Ernie, what do you like? And I didn't even know he was on the phones. I didn't know any, any of this shit. And Ernie makes the play call. I'm like, holy shit. So that's what he's doing? Like, fuck, I, you know, it was. Uh, but anyway, now he's, uh, now he's, now he's uh, all, over the, all over the media. It's fucking crazy. He, is, he was fun. And he's a great encyclopedia of football because. He he remembers like pretty much all, like everything. Yeah, I mean, I think he's kind of a savant, right? Like, yeah, like, he's like, a big time reader, bro. He like yeah. he's got like a crazy astute fucking library at his house, and he right. he read like right. he was sitting here like I read this book, and, like he was making jokes to himself, like I, I read it four times. It was so I'm like what? I, like dirt, Ernie, nobody's gonna get that shit. <laughs> <laughs> no. But anyway, so, sorry, I, I I corked you off. But it, 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 you'd, uh, I forget where you're going. Oh, you did. Oh, you did the uh, the deal with uh, you and Gronk and Ernie. The only reason I brought it up because there was these old like throwback fucking photos of like, and they had it like they had Drew and I think it was like someone else in like army outfits with patriotism, <laughs> like it was like they were army guys yeah. with, like on a Hummer. And I was sitting there like. Damn, Drew's fucking huge. You were big. Yeah, was, uh, yeah I but it was I, also, it was like some village people type stuff. It was yeah, cool. it was. Yeah, because yeah. there was, was different themes. Yeah, I think the, you guys did like that, two maybe, or three. Maybe of that them. was the start of the gay legacy that we left behind <laughs> for the Patriots, for you guys. Yeah, <laughs> uh, uh, the uh, yeah. No, I remember. I was like me and Sean Jefferson and mm-hmm. Curtis Martin and like Terry Glenn and Ben and yeah. I think Willie and I think Willie and uh, Chris. Yeah, Slade. Willie was on it. Yeah, great to see Willie last night. By the way, it was. It was great to see Willie. It was great to see Willie. Yeah, man, I I I just I love that guy so damn much, dude. I really do, man. I feel so bad for him, man. That was, was a shitty situation. I don't know what the end result of it is, man. Yeah. But uh, but man, just love Willie. It was great to it was great to see him come back out. It man. was. Yeah. You know he. I mean he's he's one of the caps. You know what I mean? He ran the locker room. Hell yeah. And like yeah. that legacy stuck throughout. I that didn't even play with them. But everyone knew that that's, that's yeah. Willie's locker. That's Willie's locker, yeah. And you know what yeah. I mean? Anyone coming in, hey, you're sitting in Willie's locker now. Dude, he was the biggest badass. And I played against him in college when we were teammates. And then I had to play against him again. And uh it was much better to be his teammate. Yeah. <laughs> you know. <laughs> and God, we put went down to play SC. And no bullshit. I I and I never, never watched like TV copies of games. You know, you know, you just only watch the the film. But for some reason, I ended up watching this 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 game against SC. And uh, Bob Greasy is calling a game. Bob Greasy, dude. Again, dude. We've been over this. I'm old. I get it. Um, but yeah, Bob Greasy is calling the game. <laughs> and uh, I, dude, I took a three step drop to throw a slant. One, two, three, and Willie hits me right in the face on I, as my third step hits the ground. And Bob Greasy's on the the, the telecast of the Yeah Blood, so he's just not going to be able to hold the ball that long against this team. <laughs> like Jesus, dude, this is one, two, three, and Willie met me on my third step. Yeah, he, he's a badass, and he's just he's got like a presence. Oh, he certainly does. You he feel it. He certainly does. Yeah, yeah, you feel it. And he just, but he just, he's just such a good dude, man. I was just glad to see him back. Out. I was too. I mean, it was great to see. It. That was that was that was fun. Like just to have all those everyone, all the guys yeah. in 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 the room you know but you played for parcells Mm -hmm. you play with carol Mm -hmm. you play with belichick Mm -hmm. how did that go yeah it's interesting what did that feel like it's 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 interesting because like of those of of those three and and like 
you know, they're all going to be Hall of Fame coaches, right? They're like, you know, so. Um, um, it's crazy. The, they're all going to be, they're all Hall of Fame coaches. I mean, Pete's got to go in the Hall, doesn't he? I mean, at least, you know, because when you combine the pros and the college deal, you know, got He's had get, a lot of success gotcha. for a long He's time. He's had a lot of Seattle. success. No, but anyway, like the, but three, like, you know, historically great coaches, you know, whether Pete gets in or not, I, I hope he does. Um, Pete's the one that I feel bad for in that equation. Yeah. Because he's obviously a hell of a coach. He followed Parcells in Boston. Parcells just ran the media, dude. Like, he loved being in front of the camera and loved berating these guys. <laughs> and then Pete comes in, and he's super competitive. I think he's a hell of a football coach, but he's positive. Yeah. And that just didn't play very well in the Boston media. And then we drafted super poorly, man. We got a whole bunch of picks when Parcells left, and then when Curtis Martin left, we had a whole bunch of picks, and we just didn't draft very well, and guys didn't work out. And so Pete ends up getting fired. Now, it worked out, you know, obviously that turns into Bill. Yeah. Um, but uh, but just, you know, just just love Pete. Great football coach. But all three of them, they, 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 it's, it's all the same shit, right? You know, so like the great coaches, it's, it's all the same. I don't know. Fundamentals. <laughs> I only play with one coach. Oh shit! You only did. You got yourself. I know it's spoiled, weird. <laughs> I, you know, I, you know, I had eight coordinators in fourteen years. Jeez. I had two. Wow. Oh, Jesus, you're so spoiled. I had Billy O and fucking and, and McDee's. He was there last night. Billy O was there last night. Yeah, I he saw, was I, fucking yeah, awesome, dude. I saw I, I saw I saw Billy O last night. I, I I don't. I've only been around him like two or three times. Friggin' love him. Billy O was talking about my boy Jack, bro. And the craziest thing was, I saw him in line for the bathroom, and I was too scared to say anything. I don't think he saw me, but like. When, when I came over this morning, you told me that. Oh, my God, I almost had a cow. I, I like, love Billy O. He was like, where's Jack? I'm like, I didn't know he was talking about you. I'm like, who, who are you no. fucking talking about? No, I, We're going to go um, BC. Billy O's a sweet we gotta go. well, I'm a BC yeah. fan now, baby. BC. Let's go, no, Billy O. But, so, yeah, the, 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 again, you know, I just, I've, I'd only known Billy O from just, like, watching, you know, and, you know, from afar. And then we were out there. For, we were out there for something, and he came, he came back. Got to hang out. Dude, he's funny as hell. Funny. Yeah, dude, he's he likes to have a good time, um, but those but those those three coaches, you know, the the fundamentals of what allows each of them to be successful are the same things. They preach the same things. You compete, you do what you're supposed to do. You on time. You just you know like it, it, everything. You know, it's all it's all the same. It's just presented so differently. You know, Parcells is all Jersey. Yeah, he was funny as hell if he wasn't talking to you. <laughs> you know yeah. what I mean? Like like he he. He was he had, he had some good material, but you just didn't want him talking to you. Pete was was positive. Um, he was great to be around. He was fun. Like it was a it was a it was a fun atmosphere, even though it was very competitive. Um, and then Bill's Bill, you know, and uh, where it's just it's so friggin' business like. Obviously, you know, works. Yeah. Um, but it's not fun in games. Mm -hmm. No, I mean it's all business all the time. You know where. Um, you know, where with where with Pete, you know, like you could come in and like tell a joke or two with him, you yeah. know, chit chat a little bit, talk to family or whatever, you know, all 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 this kind of stuff. Or that that that, that doesn't fly with Belichick. Yeah, at least at least in my experience. Unless um, you're a defensive player. Oh well, there you go, right there. Yeah, then you <laughs> he loved the he loved the defense. Yeah, he loves Bill's the defensive guy at heart. We were talking about we had light on today earlier. Mm. Dude, how funny is that, dude? Did he, oh my gosh, dude. Dude, I, I I think uh, he should have had a mic. Uh, no, I I, <laughs> no. I, I, we, I I literally was talking about that last night, and and um, he would have lit it up. Oh, dude, he is so funny. Dude, we were talking earlier, like some of his practical joke stuff, dude. We I, almost got Jimmy D fired. I that, that, with the I, thing, yeah, with the little the little fob yeah. deal, and uh, and then who? Dude, I don't know. If we you you can decide whether we cut this or not. But when um, when y'all came out and played back to back weeks in the Bay Area. Yeah, we didn't talk about that. Okay, we good. didn't Let's talk about that. We that one. That <laughs> you mean? Yes. We'll have to cut that out. <laughs> yeah, we'll have that, to blank. He, he he may he 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 may still not. Does he even know that happened? I don't think he knows yet. Okay, still. yeah, cut cut that. <laughs> cut that. <laughs> cut that. Cut Just, that. But bleep it. Just say bleep bleep. It'll yeah. be fun. Um, <laughs> don't don't say anything. But you know what I mean. Cut that. But out. I but I think uh, I think uh, yeah. The only thing with light though. Dude, if you put him up there, you might not be able to get him off. No. He might have just, he might have gone the rest of the night. The whole night. Yeah. It, it would have been funny as hell. It would have been funny as hell. But, yeah, anyway, uh, yeah. How was it How was it with uh, How was it with Matt, man? I, I, dude, I love that dude. Dude, Matt was cool for me. 
Like I, he he was like a cool older dude that looked right. out for young guys, and I was like a slap dick when I first got there. Yeah. You know what I mean? And that's like, why they gave you eleven because they didn't think you'd make the fucking team. Exactly. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. One hundred percent. They gave yeah. me eleven because I didn't think I was gonna make yeah. the team. Yep. And he was a type of guy that like him and Conley and the old linemen in general. Like they'd right. always like invite me for Thanksgiving because I was my my right. family's on the West Coast. Yeah. You know, I was a young yeah. single kid. Yeah. Absolutely. And like they just put their arm around you. You yeah. know how the hogs are. Yeah, absolutely, <laughs> man. They're, they're they're always the those are the those are the dudes. And they could cook their balls off. <laughs> linemen oh. can cook. And not a smoke. Whenever meat. you go to a oh, lineman yeah. house, it's gonna be great food. So you're gonna, and you're gonna have a lot of it. A lot of it. And it's probably not gonna be vegan. <laughs> <laughs> No, maybe wild gonna, game. You go to an old lineman's house, you're not going to get uh, tofu. Yeah, Jackie, let's see what we got. We got to put a bow on this thing. I mean, this thing was star studded. Everybody was out, and the big thing the internet's doing today, before we get into the full wrap up, is they're ranking everybody. They're giving everybody letter grades, scores. They're breaking down everybody's roast. That's the big thing on Twitter. From where? Everybody. Who's ranking who? Portnoy, the Ringer. Everybody's doing these rankings. So we are the definitive wrap-up show. Nobody's doing a pod like this. Nobody's got the immediacy we do. I want to hear your guys' top five roasters from last night. If you had to, I know there's, it's tough. Okay. Can I know uh, it's tough. Can I get the name of all the guys? Yeah, yeah pull it back, back up. up. Um, well, um, are we going to include Tom? No, Tom's not a top five. Yeah, Tom's yeah. Okay, Tom is uh, not minus top Tom. Five. Minus Tom. Let's be fucking Although, real. Right. Um, People say he had the best joke of the night. Which uh, one? The I don't. I'm gonna butcher it, but the essentially Kim's worried because her kids are home with their uh, dad. Oh, that was a pretty good one. Yeah, that was that was solid. That was solid. I um, mean, I didn't want to get in making out with your kids because I thought kids were off limits. Yeah, nobody uh, that, really that did was, those. Yeah, right. Yeah, no, that's yeah. That was that was the that was the only rule they told me. It yeah, was like, no like, kids. I'm like, well, obviously, I'm not gonna make fun of the fucking. Kids. <laughs> He's over here <laughs> talking about. Jack had a good kid joke. Yeah, I wanted to do a. Uh, no, do it, yeah. a couple. I won't do yeah, it. <laughs> Uh, Thanks for stopping me. Uh, <laughs> all right, so I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna be nice and throw you in there, Jules, and I think you deserve it. Nice. Um, I thought I thought you fucking crushed, um, Nikki. Yep. yep. Maybe MVP. I, I dude, she absolutely killed. Um, uh, Tony Hinchcliffe. Um, Joke per minute was high too. And uh, yeah. Schultz was good. Schultz was Schultz was great, and Schultz. he had and he had to, and he had to back clean up, man. He had to. Uh, yeah, yeah. He had, he had and he brought it home. He brought it home, and then I don't. I mean, Kevin's the host, so I don't get. It, but Does he, he get in there? I yeah, guess we'll count him. He did do a set at the beginning, I guess, kind of. I mean, I mean he, he set the stage. Yeah. That shit no, was he, off, he, nothing he, was off limits. He yeah, let he, it rip. No, he, yes, he did. He right he away. I, I thought I was sitting there like, oh shit, he did that. Yeah, I so I I and again I haven't watched this thing, but you were you were sitting closer to cl closer to Tom. I, I've heard from a couple of people that he looked pretty damn uncomfortable oh. at the start. Yeah, he was getting like "I love you" from his like sisters and stuff. <laughs> like right. he's like, stay strong, learn yeah. it. Yeah. <laughs> uh, what did you expect? But I think you know after, <laughs> after but I think but I think you're right. I think Kevin set the bar that okay, this is where we're going. Yeah, and then you know um, I don't know how about you. I, I agree with every. It's a I agree good top five. With, I also like. I liked Gronk. You know what? Because okay. the energy. Yeah. And like uh, he and I was yeah. and I listened to Gronk. He was he was practicing his well, jokes with me you, the whole well, time. You can, well, you can go Gronk instead of you because yeah. I mean, if you vote for yourself, that's fine. Well, yeah, hold on. You, but um, you got to get Drew. Yeah, Drew's no Drew, slouch either. Drew, you went up there and you set the stage with the glass wine like a fucking. What a, a debonair kind of person. <laughs> debonair. <laughs> debonair. Wasn't that the guy in Friday, debonair? Very, very suave and deboner. Uh, very suave and deboner when I walk up there. Uh, the, uh, uh, the wife joke was pretty funny. That uh, was awesome. 28 years. 28 years. It's hey. true story. True story. The mirror, the mirror act out with Tom and the, doing the double. Oh, back. he for oh, sure that does me. that. He Dude. definitely I'm does. Glad you called it out. <laughs> no, that, that was that was that was that one was not my joke. That one came from the writers, but it's like first of all, it's a great plug for the winery. Amen. Um, but then I was like, okay, yeah, I'm gonna give him the old blue steel. <laughs> <laughs> you know, like and then like and yeah. Like, dude, Back you, when you're around, that one blue steel. No, oh, dude, he was. Yeah, he was. He was <laughs> that one blue steel. When you're around, Bob's, he's still chunk steel. <laughs> so, Joe, yeah. who's your five? Yeah. I got. Dude, if you don't kiss my ass a little bit, then I'm fucking yeah, walking off. So, no. yeah, come on, bro. I got Bledsoe. Thank you. Appreciate that. 
I got. So can you put mine as red, please? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll go yours as red, so I can see. You got Gronk too, yeah. Yeah, you got Gronk. I liked. Uh, I lo- I thought Nikki Glazer was fucking hilarious. Yeah, she like killed. She, ki- she killed. She absolutely killed. I liked and Schultz. The eight ring joke. Yeah. So funny. And I also, I mean, like obviously Jeff Ross crushed, but yeah. I, but I, but I also couldn't have put him in the host category a little bit. But uh, you know, but Jeff he, he, is. Jeff is a pro at it. It's expected, oh, but he point. also yeah. he also has jokes that are great jokes that don't necessarily kill you, right? Like he didn't right. he didn't I don't, he didn't like these people were killing people, dude. I don't know yeah, what yeah. The fu- I don't know what the fuck I did to Sam J. Uh, dude, like, <laughs> dude, she got after me. <laughs> Jesus, I forgot about. Oh my god, dude, she fucking buried me. We gotta ask her about I, that. She hurt my feelings. I cried. No, you didn't. I didn't cry. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. <laughs> and I like Tony. Hit, I, oh, I, the. I caught a. Cu- Actually, I'm going Will Ferrell. Oh heck yeah! Hell yeah! Well, yeah, dude. I mean, I love I, Will I Ferrell. Like, I mean, he can go up there and, and bomb. But as Ron Burgundy, I was I was just sitting there like it was a movie. Mixed with the surprise <laughs> like, of him he, actually he, being there. Geez, dude. dude, he he could literally walk out there as Ron Burgundy and just stand there, and I would probably laugh for five minutes. I'm sure he he could have just went out there with no preparation no, and just bullshitted yeah, it. Yeah, no, it was yeah, it's, it's genius stuff. Um, so you know, I, I will tell you that one thing. One thing I was that in, in the whole thing is I was really looking forward to Tom Segura and Burt Kreischer, mm. and I thought they're they're set together. I was like, man, no, let these guys go. I like know. it was it yeah. was too scripted, man. These guys are the friggin' funniest friggin' they are dudes. Funny. I'm with you. So funny, and I felt like it was a little too scripted and set up between the two of them. I think they well, they I think they started running out of spots. Oh, gotcha. So they had, you know yeah. what I mean because they started yeah. like Bill Payton. Yeah. Right, Affleck. like everyone starts yeah, coming, Kardashian. and I think they all came within like the last three or four days right. of or committed. Right. So all right, they, all right. Bottom five. <laughs> we'll keep yeah. it at a top five. Okay, good. We'll, well keep we, it at a top. Why don't we five. do maybe too far joke of the night or a joke too that far was like, the joke? Kevin had a lot of those. Oh man, you I'm had trying a couple. To, <laughs> I, I um, okay, I'm trying to recall all of them. The tight end hunger but, joke, but. Uh, no, I, I I think the uh, Antonio Brown bringing Giselle is his plus oh, one. Oh, <laughs> yeah. That, 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 was, that was, I was like, oh, Jesus. Because, you know, I mean, we're sitting up there, right? And, and everything's funny, right? But you know there's going to be cameras on us, right? That was one where I just went like, Mm-mm, no, <laughs> I'm not laughing at that shit. I am I, not laughing at that shit. I'm, like, putting my head down, and I'm... Uh, yeah, that's what I we got to rewatch it to see what our yeah, reactions. I right. hope I didn't fuck anything up. Yeah, well, the, they, well, they, well, they, the other thing though, they did they did say because when they they go back and like when they do the like the Comedy Central ones, I was talking to one of the producers. They, apparently, those deals go like five hours, which I want to go to one of those. I, I, I'll sit in the audience, but um, and they cut it. Yeah, and then they edit it down to an hour. But then they'll, they'll go back and like if you laugh at something in like the first five minutes, they'll take you for the twelve. They'll, they'll 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 put you they'll put you back there. But yeah, I do want to see some of the uh, some of the reactions. Um, but uh, how about you? Which joke? Which joke was like on that line a little bit over? I mean, Kev set the he set the stage when he he started throwing out Brazilian jiu jitsu right away. Yeah, dude. Uh, yeah, I mean, I was like, yo, okay. <laughs> Here we go. I was so happy roast. though because then it made my jokes not as bad. Yeah, no, exactly. <laughs> I, was, I was like, all no, right, exactly. cool. Thank you. Thank you. Exactly. Yeah, right. <laughs> Thank you. Right. The Dana right. White yeah. of Michael Vick of Humans was. That was great. Who was that? I think Dana that was White? Nikki Glazer. Yeah. That, oh, yeah. That was a great one. Uh, no, what did they call him? They called him the. Uh, what that, like the next gen skinhead <laughs> because he found a way for uh, immigrants to beat each other up. Oh, yeah. <laughs> or put immigrants in cages. <laughs> put immigrants in cages and um, beat With each border other patrol. up. Like, oh my God. <laughs> yeah. Or, or steal wild. Brazilians that have half their purse. <laughs> yes. Uh, yes. Yeah. Oh, dude. Yeah. Boy. Killed. Absolutely hey, killed. killed. Absolutely now, killed. Now, what'd you do at that? Did you go to the after party? I saw you at the after party. Yeah, we were at the after party for a while. Um, which was uh, which was awesome, and then uh, and then then we went to the comedy store, and uh, hung out with a bunch of the writers and some of the comedians were there, and then and then we found out that that Chappelle was going upstairs. So we're like, yeah. all right, we're gonna go sit and fuck with him. Yeah. What was the vibe at this after party for a guy that wasn't there? What's that? That wasn't at the after party, but take us inside the room there. What was the vibe? I thought it was fun because okay. we had you know you had a, you had a bunch of different people. There's you know, I was I was just hanging out with Lonnie and I like packed you yeah. know. 
Mm-hmm. You got to see some of the old guys. You had some of the fighters in that Sean, Sean, what's his? Uh, O'Malley. Ma- O'Malley. Shane Sean. And then the guy who fucking called the other dude out, what's his name? Uh, Recently. Max Holloway? Yeah. Is it Max? Yeah. yeah. Max yeah. Holloway. Yeah, How long Max did Tom Holloway. stay for? I don't know. No, it was, you know what? You know I don't what, know, dude. Did Tom go? I, I didn't see him. I know Kraft went for, Kraft was there. For, I mean, what for, the fuck Kraft was are there we for, doing? Kraft was, Kraft was there for a while. What the fuck are roast, we doing? Yeah, that's why, you know, like, I, you know, like. a human being? Like, I mean, you know, you know how much, you know how much, uh, you know how much that I adore Kraft and I, and I, and I know you do too. One of the things that he's done the entire time I've known him is he shows up at shit for the players. Yeah. Like, I remember the first year he bought the team, we were having our big holiday party. And uh, we had to go do the deal at the stadium for all the sponsors and fans and stuff. And Zolak, we were going to the to the team party, like the player party afterward. And we go get in the limo, and Zo goes, I'm going to go back and get him. I go, what? He goes, he went back and grabbed him. And he went to the party and partied with us fucking all night long. Oh, wow. Um, and uh, Crafty. like he just, he, he just, he shows, he shows up and stuff. Like he, you know, I think part of, he, he wants to be a part of it, but it's also, he knows that it's, that it, that it matters to people that he shows up. So I was, I was glad that he showed up. I was that wrong. And his Putin joke was great. It was a good, yeah. po- that was, that was a good, good joke. joke. <clears throat> that's real shit, by the way. Yeah. Putin stole his fucking ring. Right. We want I mean, to write that's, a movie. That's, that's like, that's like, you know. And we want to write a movie about it. That's insane. Do they? We want to. Oh, yeah. Did I, yeah. That'd be well, a great I mean, movie. Might want to wait till Putin's dead. Um, <laughs> Uh, I, might, I might not go after him while he's alive, dude. Um, <laughs> it would be more of the heist of getting uh, the ring oh, right. back. Yeah, I'll oh, get, oh, getting the ring back. Yeah. Okay, gotcha. It'd be yeah. kind of fun. There you I go. can see yeah. that. Yeah, that'd be Good like buddy a, comedy. a Mission Impossible. <laughs> yeah, like a Mission Impossible uh, comedy. That'd be that'd be great. It'd, it'd be, be fun. Great. I like, thought the vo- like th- a Pineapple Express. Yeah, there you go. With like Vladimir Putin. Pitch, I'm pitching <laughs> movies to, to Drew right now. No. That's the great. Interview. That's great. The interview those all, those, all, those always work out as investments. So, you know, let's go. <laughs> <laughs> I may just invite and, and see if Tom can find me a crypto investment. Uh, the, uh, respect, uh, respect. Dude, they fucking no. buried him on that deal. I had, for, I had forgotten about that entire me angle. Too. And, dude, the, uh, who was it, uh, was it Nikki? The, oh, uh, yeah, she just yeah, yeah. yeah. joke about Gronk. Me know that not real money. Gronk, <laughs> me know that not real money. <laughs> it's like, Jesus. I got a standing ovation. <laughs> standing O. <laughs> That that shit crushed. That oh was funny. No, dude, she she was the MVP in my mind. She was definitely MVP. Yeah, dude, she absolutely great timing. Oh, dude, and she had like little jabs for uh, her segues. Oh uh, man, she Killer. was friggin' fantastic. She is she is a Bond villain. MVP. I, I don't. She's a super sweetheart, but I don't want to cross her because, dude, no, brutal. <laughs> Wait, Jules, before we wrap up, real quick, can I ask you about the selfie? How'd that come about? Which one? The one on stage with you and Drew and Bill and Tom. I just took everybody. It. So you that just, selfie was on like during the credits. So the internet full, was like, "We need to see the picture. We need yeah. to see the picture." The the Twitter verse was, was. Do I have it? Have we seen it? It's been yeah. posted. You've got uh, a, a competent team. Oh, good. good but job. the Twitter. <laughs> I just want to know how it came about. You just full candid. Just I photo bombed that shit. <laughs> um, Hell yeah! It, it, Jules did invite me. He wanted a good picture with you know. Fucking, yeah right. His, I, his, I his, boy, his to... boyfriend and his old coach, <laughs> and, uh, and and so like I'm gonna photo bomb this shit. I'm his side go. piece, bro. I know. Yeah, that's that's well. Actually, he might be his main piece these days. So you know, good luck. Uh, the <laughs> the uh, uh, yeah. Let's name let's name the game. So if this was a real game, we normally do a whole thing. But let's bear with us. Name the game. The groat roast. The groat. The greatest of all roast. What do you think, Jules? Or something better. Or something or better. better. I, don't, I mean, the, yeah, the, the, the groat thing. I kind of, yeah. 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 Probably the greatest of all, of all roasts. Greatest of all roasts. I don't know. I, I, I might, I might go there. score it. Let's score the game. Is this the greatest game of all time? <laughs> Let's score it. Stakes. Zero to ten on the roast. Oh, it was high stakes, dude. I mean, that's a... That's a mm, I mean, on a zero to ten... Stakes are probably I'm gonna I'm gonna say an eight, eight, so eight higher five. than a game seven of a Stanley Cup final. Jack, this yeah, year, I mean we got a lot of <laughs> we got a lot of like I'm I going like right it. in there with Drew. No, because there's one. legacy here. This is this mm-hmm. a high wire act, baby. This is live. This is a high wire act. Live and live, live right? Live, yeah, live. First live stream. On Netflix or one of them? The first, yeah, first one live roast. Second yeah. one, I was. I think uh, they, I think Cat Williams went like the like two days before. Okay. Which, by the way, Bill oh. Burr did say today that um, Cat Williams is his number one guy that he never wants to follow. 
That's uh, saying something. Yeah. That is be, saying something. Yeah. Because, because he goes, he goes, dude, that guy kills. Yeah. And if he goes, if, if he's if he's there, I, he goes, I want to go first. Yeah. Which was cool because I, 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 I know his stuff, but I haven't watched a lot of Cat Williams. But yeah, anyway. Well, he, he just popped off because that Shannon Sharp podcast. I didn't see that. And then he used to have a really good stand up a couple few years back. Really? I haven't seen his new stuff. I want to see some of his new stuff. I haven't seen it. Love Cat. Cat was funny. I'm going to go with. An eight. There's a lot of reputations on the line here. Yeah. Amen. Star power. Star. I mean, this is a star-studded event. Well, I mean, fuck, dude. I was there, so. Um, it would have been better if Matt Damon was draft draft could, been yeah, yeah, that would have been better. <laughs> I saw. Hold on. Star power is interesting because I'm thinking of who could have been there that wasn't. Oh. Um, who? And, uh, oh, no, I'm just trying to think like star power. Like, could, it, could it have been? Could it have been better in terms of Eli? Eli. Yeah, fuck Eli. <laughs> uh, That's the right answer. Uh, no, I, I, Eli, I, you're probably never gonna watch this, but I fucking love you anyway. Uh, he's been on. He's been former guest. Former guest show. Oh, has he really? No, I, I, Eli I, I, watches I, I, this I thing him. religiously. <laughs> yeah, I know he does. I know he does. Um, yeah, I, you know, I think in terms of um, like pertinent to Tom. Yeah, I mean, it's it's probably an eight as well. I'm trying to think of who could have been there that wasn't. I mean, Matt Damon would have been one. That could have been there. Dude, I'm saying it's a 9-5. We had a lot. There, I mean, Kim Kardashian was there. She's followed by 300 million people. Yeah. Like, oh, star power. A, nations. Be, more than nations. That fucking negative to me, though. Because, like, she's like she's, what's, what's the connection? I mean, did they did they actually really hook up or, or no? I don't know. Yeah, I'm so, I think you do. Maybe now? I have no clue. <laughs> Maybe just, now. You're fucking jealous, dude. I uh, don't know. Uh, uh, I was just trying to lock eyes with Kim. I was, like, trying. She was yeah. all about Tom. Yeah, dude. <laughs> <laughs> gameplay. Uh, the gameplay. I thought the show went well. Uh, I would say, um, again, we kind of went through. There, there were just there were, you know, there were just there were some that did, didn't go as well. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go eight five. I'm gonna go a little higher on like gameplay. I, I I think that there were just. There could have been addition by subtraction, and that's the nicest thing I can say. With the <laughs> it's a little long, <clears throat> it was long. It was long. It was, long. It was long. It was like a banquet. It was a little yes, like an awards. You know I mean, bank. like awards, like a banquet where it's like two and a half, three hours. Yeah, I'm like, oh, really? Another award for yeah. most inspirational fuck, dude. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> um, great banquet. It was fun, unbelievable. Yeah. Uh, gameplay though for me. I'm gonna go seven nine. Mm hmm. Name. The name of the roast? <sighs> nah, this I don't know. It's just like it's, just, it's, a, it's so nondescript. I'll just. I don't, I don't know what. I, I, I'm not gonna write a better one right now. Um, not, not every game can have a great score. No, that's yeah, true. That's true. I'm just gonna say five, just like average. Average name. Average but, I, but I don't have a better idea. I'm with so you. I, so it's gonna. Five's good. What, I'll go five. The roast. The roast. The bros? Bros. I like that. Yeah. Oh, there you go. That might have so, just updated a little but bit. But you got to be a bro to be a broast. Yeah. That's true. Yeah, yeah, you get roasted by your bros, the broast. Yeah, but Brady's computer. <laughs> yeah, that's true. That's true. That's true. Jules? 5-5. Uh, five, five. Mm -hmm. Jack, I can't stand by your 11. Oh, I gave it a star power an 11. I went over the 10. <laughs> I'll knock it down to a 10. <laughs> I'll knock it down to a 10. Thank you, Jack. Bro, Ooh. I love Kim K. I love everybody 7. in there. 7.08. Mm -hmm. Nice. Where's your rank? I don't think we have the ranks. Are we ranking this one? Yeah, let's throw it in. I might have right, it. Hold on, I got them right here. Drop it in. Yep. I don't have. Let me. I got it. Got it. Hold on. Got it. Drop it in. Yep. Um, yep. The bros. Here we go. The bros. The bros. Mm -hmm. There you go. That'll be seven point oh eight. When we uh, when we when we get, when we get after you. That'll be the uh, the broast. That'll be the broast. I like that. Just that'll behind be. the 2011 Stanley Cup Final Game Seven Bruins <laughs> versus Canucks, right where it belongs, baby. And right ahead of the 2131 Cal Ripken breaks. Um, what's his name? Fuck. Lou Gehrig's record. Lou Gehrig's Gehrig. record. Nice. Yeah. God, just when you fix the scoring system. <laughs> right on. This is in its own special category <laughs> for non-athletic events. Love it. Yeah. Heck uh, yeah. We don't have time for that. <laughs> You think what? Who? Oh, Luke oh, Luke <laughs> 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 They named the 
into the Jeep now for him. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> Roast That's mode. a crazy disease. Roast mode. Drew, we miss anything? I don't think so, man. It's been, it's been a ton of fun, man. Love you. Respect you. Um, and uh, what, I, what I said to you back in the day is actually super real to me. Um, you know, I'd always view that as my number. And if somebody was going to wear it, I wanted them to fucking play exactly the way that you played the game. Uh, Just tough as shit, um, competitive as hell, great teammate, you know, all that shit. Um, so, you know, a lot of respect, brother. Dude. A lot of respect, brother. Oh, shit, I'm out of wine. That's, that's oh, bad luck. Shit, bad luck. Wait, I got a quick question. Yeah, yeah. Like, uh, you're a wine connoisseur. Like, how do I, uh, like, if I'm with, like, a girl that's kind of snooty. Mm-hmm. She's like, I gotta like flex on what wine to order. What do I do? Um, How do I make myself look good? Well, I mean, okay. Well, I mean, okay. This this was a this was a deep subject, and so we can go a little bit deep on this. So, <laughs> like, it, um, is so you gotta try to factor in, you know, how much does this girl know about wine? Is she gonna be impressed by how much you spend, or does she actually really know wine? Okay. Yeah. Um. So if you're Dating the one that only cares about how much you spend, then you know you shouldn't Go spend. Big. You shouldn't spend very much on her. Um, um, but oh, I, see. Uh, I, I fucked up. I said, yeah, he spent the biggest one. Yeah, <laughs> right, right, right. <laughs> um, no, I. Um, I mean, I'm I'm a homer for the Northwest. You know, um, the stuff that's that, that's coming out of um, out of Walla Walla and out of the Willamette Valley in Oregon. You're always going to get a much better value. Yeah, like you're going to get better wine for your dollar. Yeah, um, in Oregon and Washington. Um, and then, um, and then, you know, if you really, if you're actually really trying to kind of impress her and she knows a little bit about wine, just, just get a little cheat sheet on your phone of the vintages. Yeah. And then, and then you can, um, then you can, uh, you can find good wine for less dollars by just buying the right vintage. Drew, it's a trick question. You just say, get double back. Yeah. <laughs> well, I, I didn't know you were trying to marry her, dude. <laughs> <laughs> What a game. What a Hell game. Yeah. What a night. Thanks again to Drew. That's been another episode of Games with Names. Subscribe on Apple Podcasts, Spotify, wherever you listen to your podcasts. Comment a game you want us to do. And remember, rate and review. Remember to follow Games with Names on YouTube, Instagram, X, TikTok, Snapchat. Leave a message at the hotline bling at 424-291-2290. We will see you guys next week. Games and Names is a production of iHeartRadio. For more podcasts from iHeartRadio, visit the iHeartRadio app, Apple Podcasts, or wherever you get your podcasts.